Hey everybody, Steven here, and today we are looking at new footage from the Nintendo Switch version of Subnautica. So this was posted by Rose, she's the QA lead for Unknown Worlds. I do want to mention that I do have permission to showcase this in my own video, so shout out to Danya and Rose for checking with apparently the CEO of the company, I believe, for, for Unknown Worlds. Um, and I got permission with this. I didn't want to just showcase it in a video and get in trouble or anything like that. So with this, this is a longer clip than the one that Obraxa showed. So I'm going to watch this. We're going to blow this up to the full screen version, and then we'll shrink it back down. I'm going to do that for a specific reason that I'm going to talk about here in a second. So let's go. So one of the bigger things you're going to see here, I think with this being blown up one twitter quality on this with what she's posted isn't going to be the same as if i had this clip directly kind of on my computer um so with this being blown up here <clears throat> i know it's a concern most people have with how's the quality going to be I, I think it's going to be good and that's leading itself into why we'll watch this again at the kind of smaller framed version of this because the Nintendo Switch has a resolution of 1280 by 720 and with that a pixel density or pixels per inch of 236 and I think that's going to have a huge effect with how this actually looks once it's in your hands. This blown up version I think is what people are concerned about. It's not going to look like this. When it's in your hand and that pixel density is smaller it's going to look better. And like I said this isn't even going to be a high resolution version of this video clip here. Life on this planet grows in unusually distinct and diverse ecological biomes. Further study so things to look for, uh, pop in, things like that. That would be my bigger concern. But it looks like the draw distance is pretty solid. Um, the water looks good. I mentioned that with the last video. I think overall, especially as they spend more time with it, they polish it more. I think taking advantage of the switch is going to be something where we're going to get a really good version of the game. I don't think it's going to be um, anything. I mean, obviously the hard, there are hardware limitations with this, but it's not going to be something that's going to be uh, lacking, which is something that I know people are concerned about. Like, all right, well, the graphics are turned all the way down. The frame rate's horrible. I don't think that's going to be an issue at all. But like I said, seconds. watching this as the blown up version, I think this is almost to illustrate, this would be the fears that people would have is that that's what it would look like once it's in your hand. I don't think that's going to be the case at all. So let's watch this again. And I'm on an ultra wide, but I have it in a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. And with this on at least my PC with my setup this looks to be very close right now to the um and i'm gonna put a link for this so you guys can watch it also on whatever you watch videos on uh, your phone if it's a bigger phone would be a good thing um with this it's gonna be closer to the 6.2 uh, lcd screen on the switch here so let's watch this again and as you see, like I said, this still isn't even because of your going through Twitter here. It's not the same as having this footage um, on your computer directly. It's huge bump right here. So I'm taking that, like I'm going to even polish this more, increase the resolution with this. But even here, like it looks solid. And the other thing is like, We've talked about, I mean, a portable version of Subnautica. When I travel and I can whip this out and just game on an airplane or something like that for a minute, that's going to be phenomenal. Oh, I did see a floating uh, mineral over there. New blueprint acquired. Oh, now there, there it is. All right, it wasn't floating. Sorry, it looked like it was. So, keeping in mind the hardware limitations and this, giving them, this isn't coming out till next year, we're going to see a very polished version of this on Nintendo Switch. 
Now, what I'm curious about is how does that translate to when you dock it also? Because there is a difference between docking it and not. And we'll look at the comments here in a section, in a second. But it's running smooth. That's the other thing. I'm not seeing any stuttering or lag or anything like that. But we'll get to those questions here in a second. Because there's one down there which says, but why it runs so poorly on MBPR 2013. 30 seconds. So that is it. And of course, I want to hear from you guys in the comment section. What do you think about the footage here? Very, very early, by the way. That's the other thing. Like, they're showing this stuff, but this is so early in this process for them. We're not uh, going to get the game till next year, so they have some time to work on it. Um, quick check shows that MBPR beats CPU slash GPU of Nintendo Switch. FP32 700 G flops versus 400 G flops. And then Obraxis here gives a comment and he is one of the head devs for Unknown Worlds, specifically with Subnautica and Subnautica Below Zero. But performance is not always about CPU slash GPU power. For instance, the Switch has a modern internal SSD. The MacBook Pro from 2013 has a very slow mechanical HDD that can affect performance significantly in data heavy games. And then he does the announcement. Um, question about the draw distance uh, turtle man which is uh, somebody that's on my um, discord here I wonder how well the game would, would run if you terraform a bunch of the terrain with commands <laughs> and I like that one probably not so well <laughs> I'm also curious to see how do you do console commands or anything like that if you can with this game um, my assumption is not at all <laughs> just like as far as I know you can't do that on consoles but I've not played on consoles I've prim primarily played on my PC here um, because that doesn't make sense for me going to a switch where you can travel with it that makes sense for getting this again but that is going to be it for this one let me know what you guys think of this in the comment section very early build but we have a longer kind of stream of video from the nintendo switch build here and uh curious how often they're going to update um some of this stuff with videos along the way while they'll they're doing this because can't really do as far as i know early access on a nintendo switch maybe you can but that's definitely not going to be something that they're going to do for this so that's going to be it for this video everybody if you like the video hit the like button for me if you want to continue to follow along with all my content hit the subscribe button for me Thanks so much for watching.